A metro woman loses her son to cancer, then is at risk of losing out on a life insurance policy she needed to bury him. Well, she called for action and got help. Here's Keith King with her story. Keith? Mark Elizabeth, good evening to you. Right now I'm in the Call for Action Center where volunteers are ready to help you out and tackle your consumer-related problems. Go ahead and call in now, 816-932-4321. Marietta Tyler of Eastern Jackson County called in due to uh, her son's life insurance policy. She had some issues with the payout on that. She called in for call for action. She's glad she did. Marietta Tyler lives with the pain no mother should experience. She lost her son to liver cancer last October. It was a terrible thing. I'd lost, like I say, so many in my family, but never a child. It's just a terrible thing that you just can't explain to anybody. Before 57-year-old Timothy Tyler passed away, his mom promised to take care of all funeral expenses. After all, in 1985, she purchased a $25,000 life insurance policy in his name and paid every year. After his death, Marietta learned that promise was in jeopardy. MetLife, the insurance company, said it had no record of Marietta as beneficiary. I had paid for 25 years on it, and I never dreamed that I didn't have the money to pay his funeral bill. So I told my daughter-in-law, I said, I've, I will cover that, and uh, you won't have to worry about that. Marietta called for action. We sent MetLife documents listing her as beneficiary, and in no time, the insurance company paid the $25,000 life insurance policy minus expenses paid to the funeral home. Make sure they understand their policy, and they can do that either by contacting their agent or by contacting our office. The Missouri Department of Insurance spokesman says Marietta's case is unique, but her story serves as an important reminder to all of us to keep paperwork. Keep a copy of everything, and that's the reason that uh, the mother, in this case, was eventually able to resolve the situation. Marietta received a letter from MetLife saying, quote, We apologize to you, Ms. Tyler, if the handling of your claim has caused any undue concern or hardship. I could sleep better, and, and you know, it's all over with now, and, and it's taken care of, and I don't have a, a problem in the world now. Now, if you have a consumer-related problem, if you feel cheated or ripped off by a company or a contractor in any way, give us a call, 816-932-4321. Volunteers are here until 7 o'clock tonight taking your phone calls. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.